Reddit, by now, needs no introduction. I have covered it enough in past videos on this channel, and it is an extremely popular tool in which many in the horror and dark content genre use frequently. The range on it is damn near limitless, with the vast number of topics to find people talking about. The stories that you can find by doing some simple searching on the internet powerhouse are a mix of interesting, ridiculous, creepy, and unexplainable. Not to mention that some of my most popular videos come from Reddit stories. I am not surprised either, as giving people free range to talk about whatever they want to say can make for some very spicy reads. And today's video is no different. Over on the RBI subreddit, you can find posts with people suspecting family members of being infamous fugitives, people wanting help finding information on something they recently discovered, and even using the platform to attempt to find missing people. All of these stories and more are found there. And as I was reading some of these, I came across one of them that I was not only instantly drawn into, but also haven't seen anyone else cover on YouTube before. So, not only is that a major plus in and of itself, but will also hopefully quiet all of those telling me that I simply shamelessly rip off Nexpo. Love you, buddy. So, the story I have for you little dabbers today revolves around two roommates who fear they are being watched by someone. This is the ongoing story of Ace of Hades, 17. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now, I know what many of you are thinking. This is not a gaming channel. Why am I being sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? Well, for starters, in my spare time, I am a gamer, and I have been for over 20 years. I even went to college for game design. Apart from being a fan of the genre, I also have played Raid long before they reached out to me. And I know how solid and honestly addicting of a game it is. With its incredible graphics, PvP matches, and well over 500 champions each with their own unique skills. It allows players to actually play their way, instead of the constant hand-holding other games force you to do. Raid Shadow Legends has been named the number one RPG in the US, and anyone who is a fan of that genre knows how saturated it is. Yet, Raid stands out with over 1 million daily players in an incredibly massive community. Raid Shadow Legends also stands out by continually updating the game with new epic and legendary champions. They also are releasing their second version of the Doom Tower, which means new rewards, gear, and bosses to face off against your champions. If this sounds like your idea of a good time, then you can get a head start in Raid. All you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you'll get a free epic champion, Jotun, who I must say is amazing for the Doom Tower, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and the three ancient shards so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in-game. Your treasures will be waiting for you here in the inbox. Act fast though, because these sweet rewards will only be available for the next 30 days. So click that link in the description below to start your epic journey with your epic champions. Unknown Venus device, somewhere in apartment. Are we being stalked slash recorded? Need advice on what it could be. Strange occurrences I need to find some sort of reasoning or explanation for. I don't know if all of these instances are related or connected somehow, but these are just some things that stood out to me. Are we potentially being stalked or recorded by someone in our apartment? I'm the kind of person that loves creepy stories of stalkers, ghosts, murderers, encounters, and so on. And because of this interest, it makes me have a pretty bleak view of humanity and always think that people are generally horrible and always up to something which makes me always be prepared to defend myself or loved ones. Maybe because I read all of these stories that I'm looking for it. 
So maybe I'm just quick to think that something sinister is going on when it just may be something harmless. I'll let you decide. Anyways, I'm a college student and I basically live in two apartments. I stay at my brother's apartment a lot, but I mostly stay at my own apartment that I share. I live with my friend who is a pretty attractive girl who is basically a pixie fairy, which as a guy, I know older men love to drool over. So I always worry that since she's not as vigilant as me and really weak, that she would be an easy target for a stalker or creep, which there have been some weird suitors in the past couple of years, but nothing like stalking. So today we got a Christmas tree for the apartment and we were just chilling in the living room when we hear a sound from a device in the kitchen, which is like two feet away in the next room, making a swooshing sound and then an Alexa type male voice recording saying the word Venus. It sounded as if a device was turning on or off or something like that. We don't own any Alexa products or anything like that. We both have the female Siri on our iPhones too. We both look at each other and say, what the f made that sound? She kind of chuckled and said, did it say penis? But I heard Venus. I go over there and see if one of our phones were over there, but there wasn't any mobile device or speakers in the kitchen. I go back in the living room and we check our phones to see if one of us got a message on one of our phones, but neither of us did. She asked me if I was with her, but I was going to ask her the same thing. This kind of freaked her out, and with my paranoia, I immediately think if it could be some sort of recording device or something to spy on her because I'm not there a lot, and I was actually about to leave too. The only devices in the kitchen are an air fryer, the microwave, oven, and a vegan water fountain for the cats. I search on the internet about anything that could have made that sound and said Venus, or even penis, which wasn't a helpful search, but nothing useful showed up. It's exam week, and I usually go study at my brother's apartment, so I had to leave and I didn't want to freak her out with my conspiracy theories, but I did. As I was driving to my brother's, I was thinking about it and remembered that two weeks ago, we were talking in her room for a second when we both hear vibrating from a phone. I said someone's calling you, but she had nothing going on with her phone. I even looked at mine and there wasn't anything on there too, but the buzzing was still going on. There are upstairs neighbors, but they are short-term occupants, Airbnb guest. But the phone sounded like it was in our apartment, but couldn't pinpoint where. It wasn't from upstairs because we usually only hear faint footsteps, loud bangs, or yelling and such because they are old New Orleans wood floors, but would not be able to hear a phone buzzing that clearly, even if it was laying bare on the wood floor above us, in my research, the only thing I could come up with that could have possibly made the Venus noise was maybe an LG Venus phone turning on. It's a burner phone that has a decent camera, but still shitty. When you turn it on, it makes a swooshing sound that may be similar to the swooshing sound recording we heard, but I don't remember it specifically. But the only thing is, I haven't found a video of the phone turning on and making the swooshing and then saying Venus. Maybe it says it in a new update for the phone, but I don't know. That's the only thing I could come up with which could potentially be terrifying if there is a cell phone turning on in our apartment that we have been living in for five months. Neither of us own an extra phone, especially a birder. I need to know what it could be. One last weird occurrence at this apartment was when I was about to leave, I heard a weird noise coming from the upstairs apartment, as if somebody dropped a bowling ball on a slanted wood floor, causing it to bounce and then roll. I just brushed it off as it was probably just some Airbnb guests making their usual stomps and bangs from upstairs, but I didn't know that there were any guests staying there that day because it was 7 p.m. and I hadn't heard any noises besides that all day. Not even footsteps. As I was driving off, for some reason on that night, I was curious if there was even any guest staying there at the moment. I decided to just drive around the perimeter of the apartment and noticed that all of the second floor's lights were completely off, as if nobody was home at all. 
which was kind of weird because what made that noise a couple of minutes ago? Update 1. So it also just dawned on me that all of these occurrences only happened at night right before I was trying to or about to leave the apartment. Every single instance involved me in some way telling her that I'm about to head out for the night. Just another detail I just thought of, but it could just be coincidental. So, to recap, OP is worried that he and his roommate, more particularly his roommate, are being the target of some type of possible stalking or at the very least, someone listening in on them. OP's last statement about all of the occurrences happening right before he was about to leave is troubling. If someone is spying on them and wanting to only focus in on when the roommate is alone, it is extremely creepy and potentially dangerous. OP states that his roommate is a female, and with the rate at which stalking goes, the main statistic is a male stalking a female. That is not to say that this is what that is, but something to at least consider. I unfortunately cannot do much in terms of comparing the so-called swooshing sound as they have no recording of it and the term is so vague, simply searching it will bring back countless results. OP states that the phone could be an LG Venus and is known as a burner. I actually remember that several of my friends in school having these, but I don't personally recall any swooshing sound that they would make. There are too many theories on the phone itself that range from the burner phone being used by a gang to it being related to drug runners, but I will not be going into those as the phone itself is simply a possible idea on what could be making the noises, and nothing is concrete about what type of phone it even is, if it even is a phone at all. OP's last entry also mentioned him hearing a noise and that he checked the upper floor from outside and saw that all of the lights were off, stating that he heard no one walking around or any other noise that people would be making if someone was up there. So this sudden sound that was mentioned could be numerous things, all too vague to pinpoint. Reddit, of course, was quick to chime in and see if any suggestion could be made to solve OP's problem. It ranged from some stating that the house could simply be old, and certain areas in the house carry sound more than others. Others say that it could be a squatter living upstairs, or even creepier, in their walls. And that is why they can never seem to find anything. One commenter made a good point that if it were a random phone making the noise, then surely it would have died by now. But all of these theories on OP's dilemma were blown out of the water two months later, when Ace of Hades 17 returned with a very disturbing update. Hi everyone, so I posted a while back in December trying to identify some strange things that were happening in my friend and I's apartment. So since my last post, I have done a few things. One, I searched every crack and crevice in the apartment and came up with nothing on anything out of the ordinary. Two, I purchased a hidden camera slash bug detector and searched throughout the house and didn't come up with anything. Three, I sleep within reach of not one, but two guns in two different rooms, just in case something were to happen. Now, we were presented with a wait and see what happens kind of situation, and then acting accordingly from there. For the past month or so, everything seemed to be fine. Nothing out of the ordinary, and eventually, we even forgot about the whole thing in general. Then we started hearing a weird noise outside that sounded like some kind of a intermittent buzzing or hum towards the back of the house where the bathroom window is located. Houses make weird noises all the time, so I told my friend not to worry about it because there is nothing in that little alleyway on the side of the house besides overgrown plants and an air conditioning unit. A couple of days later, I was smoking a cigarette at night when I started thinking about what that could have been, so I go around the house to check it out. When I turned the corner, I saw a metal bench that wasn't there a couple of weeks ago around the time I made the first post and check the house inside and out. A bench is no big deal, especially when you are renting a house. The owner is gonna store some shit without you knowing. 
The thing that weirded me out was where it was placed when there are a ton of places it could have been put. It was intentionally put right up against the raised house, right under our bathroom window. I took a picture of it because something about it rubbed me the wrong way. The thing that weirded me out is that when a grown ass man like me stands on it, you are at the perfect height to try to sneak a peek through the tiny cracks in the bathroom window's old curtain. When I could see through the cracks, I felt a knot in my stomach. Both of us get a strange feeling whenever we are showering or using the toilet, as if being fully exposed. I don't know if that's why, but it could explain some of those feelings. I immediately sent the picture to our landlord and they said that they don't own that bench, so it must have been left from the previous tenants. I knew that wasn't the case because that bench wasn't there in December when I did a whole sweep of the house. This really creeped me out. Who is going back there and how did somebody place a whole bench without us even knowing? We literally never go back there. My roommate has never even seen that side of the house because there's nothing back there of any interest besides an air conditioner unit and a couple of windows. The night that I took the picture of the bench, I then moved the bench away from the window and flipped it upside down just to see what would happen. I checked back a week later and the bench is in its original place that I found it under the bedroom window, again right side up. As of a couple of days ago, we immediately set up cameras on the exterior of the house. They cover the door, the entire front porch, and the driveway on the side of the house where our cars are that also has eyes on one of the entrances to where the little back alleyway where the bench is located can be accessed. So now we can see if someone is walking back there at night because the motion sensor floodlight that lights up the driveway does go off in the middle of the night on the most random nights. I stay up late so I always see it turn on, but I figured that it was just squirrels, rats, or even just possums. But the alleyway can also be accessed from the street by just jumping into the neighbor's yard and then jumping the next short fence that separates us from our neighbor without being seen on camera. Now it is just another game of wait and see. I really hope that this is just a weird coincidence because this is very strange. If there's actually a peeping Tom or a stalker or hopefully not something worse, then I'm going to grab my gun and go after the person myself. This is nerve wracking. Just waiting to see which of the worst case scenarios is going to play out. So, it appears that OP was right, and that they do in fact have someone stalking them. Skipping to the very obvious, OP discovered a bench outside of underneath their bathroom window, with the perfect height level to peek into the window. OP mentioned that both he and his roommate got strange feelings when in the bathroom, and now seeing that there was a bench outside could honestly scare anyone. What takes all doubt away, at least for me, was that the bench was moved by OP for it to only be back in the original position under the window a week later, meaning someone definitely took it back to the window to continue watching them. OP went on to say that he installed cameras and that he now has guns near him to protect himself and his roommate should this peeping Tom turn into something more violent. As of right now, there have been no updates on this story, and hopefully the issue went away itself, and that the lights and cameras they put up were enough to scare off this peeper. I will of course continue to monitor this story and see if any updates happen, and if they do, I will do a follow up video on it. As for now though, most all of Reddit who have interacted with this post all agree that someone is watching them, and the comments are filled with ways in which to deal with the person responsible. From what it looks like, OP is handling this the best and most legal way that they can. I truly hope if this story does have an update that OP and his roommate make it out safely. This just truly goes to show that sometimes, if not all the time, those nagging gut feelings you get could very well be accurate and that you should always take caution 
with what it is in regards to. I hope you enjoyed this ongoing story of Ace of Hades 17. I will link his reddit post in the description box below so you can all read the full story in comments if you would like. Special thanks to all of my patrons, especially my top tier patrons. KCD, Jace, A Dumb Thought, Blake, Boop, Jason Fontella, Lena, OOD Hamhord, Robert Rapp, Ryan93, Espeev, Sir Tony, and Skelly. I will of course see all of you next week for another video. Until then, please remember to stay safe out there friends. Good night.